What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Today I'm doing the Highland Park The Dark 17 year old. All right? This bottle is stunning. It's one of 28,000 bottles, bottled at 52.9%, 100% first fill sherry casks. This was released in 2017, and, and near the end of 2017, anyway. And now, the most recent release is the contrast to this one, the light, which is a transparent bottle aged in refill sherry casks. So I haven't tried that one yet, but I've tried this one and it's stunning. The only reason I'm reviewing this is because starting Friday, uh, which is tomorrow, I will be doing only bourbon for a month straight. So the entire month of June, it's American Whiskey Month. So not just bourbon, sorry, but um, rye whiskeys as well. And I really want to get this out because I've been giving quite a few samples away of it. Uh, two people won samples of it on my channel, as well as a, a bunch of other friends that I've given samples. And I don't know how much whiskey is actually left in that bottle. So um, I decided to do the review, make sure I get it out there before I finish this bottle because who knows what can happen in the month of June come July I might not have any left so as you can see incredible presentation the bottle is beautiful the box is pretty cool it it comes in a sleeve like just a cardboard sleeve to protect this wooden box um, on the side it says names then gave they to noon and twilight morning they named and the wanting moon night and evening the years to number Highland Park uses a lot of Viking folklore for their whiskeys because of the amount of Viking heritage in the region, in Orkney Islands, all right? Um, it comes with this booklet as well, hidden inside the little box, the little wooden sleeve thing, all right? And it talks about the contrast, the light and the dark, and it goes into detail about the Orkney home and has some beautiful, stunning pictures of the island. All right, um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this, but on the back, it says the color tint is 24.1, so deep russet. Uh, there's no, it's natural color, um, unchill filtered, and like I said, it's, there's only, 28,000 bottles of this. Some of them are 750 milliliters. Some of them are 700 milliliters. If you're North American, there's a good chance you were lucky enough to get the 750 milliliter bottle that I have here. This one is pretty expensive. It's not cheap at all. It's, depending on where you are in the world, around the $400 mark, okay? So in the US, I think you're looking at around $400 US as well. Maybe a little bit less, maybe 350 if you're lucky, okay? Um, most places in Alberta sell it for about $400 as well. I think the LCBO will be getting this shortly at around the $430 to $450 mark. Maybe a little bit less, but not much, all right? So it's, seems to be around the $400 um, price point. And the, a lot of people are upset about that. A lot of people are thinking, this is a 17 year old whiskey, why are we paying so much money? This has 28,000 bottles, so it's not incredibly limited. There are quite a few bottles to go, go around and at that price point, I don't expect them to fly off the shelf. The whiskey is incredible though. And I'm not saying it justifies the price but it's very, very good stuff. I'm gonna taste it, I'm gonna nose it, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it, and I'm gonna tell you guys whether or not I would buy another bottle of this. So, if you watched my review of the full volume, the Highland Park full volume, you know that I loved it. You know that I love that subtle hint of peat, that charcoal type note that you get uh, on the finish of that whiskey. It's the exact opposite of this. Actually, to me, this is the, the full volume is probably the opposite end of the spectrum in compared to this. This is first bill sherry. That one is first bill ex-bourbon. They are exact opposites 
and I honestly love them both. Now, the full volume is $130, so we're gonna talk about that as well. Lots of nice sherry notes here. You get cherries. There's a beautiful nuttiness to this one. You don't get a whole lot of peat on the nose. Smallest, smallest, smallest hint of smoke on the back end. And like a distant wafting of, of hot chocolate. Like a milk chocolate, like um, melted Smarties or something like that. And if you don't know what Smarties are, then the best example I can give you is like a melted a milk chocolate a Hershey bar or something like that. It smells sweet, very, very welcoming on the nose. got some heat but man a beautiful palette tons of sherry the oak translates into like a walnut like a beautiful baked walnut cherry notes are prevalent on the palette as well <clears throat> Finish is beautiful, light smoke on the back end. It's not very peated. I'm gonna add a touch of, actually I'm gonna sip one more time neat and then I'm gonna add a touch of water. There is nothing off-putting about that. And the, the second sip, your mouth is acclimated to the heat. You, you actually don't need to add water to this at all. I would suggest a small sip, a small sip to start. Then, if you find that it's still hot afterward, um, add a little bit of water. But the viscosity on this is gorgeous. I don't know what water is going to do to that, but we're going to find out in a sec. And you can see the legs on this glass. It's like butter sticking to the side of the glass. Beautiful. There's a touch of brine, but not as much as I would think there would be for a Highland Park. It does remind me a lot of like a cast strength Macallan, like a, an older version of the cast strength that I've had. Uh, maybe not as heavy. A little bit of water opens this right up. A lot more sherry now though. That nuttiness is even more prominent. Beautiful, beautiful nuttiness. Very light smoke on the back end. The finish on this is honestly a 10 out of 10. This is one of those ones that you really want to take your time with because you can drink this for a good half hour, one glass, maybe even longer. A little bit of like an orange note in there. Something very reminiscent of Macallan. Beautiful. Honestly, it's awesome. It's one of my favorite whiskeys so far of the year. Marking this, and I, I don't like to make the comparison, but I do feel like I, I should um, mark this side by side with the uh, full volume because they're both 17 years old. They're both a higher ABV, although this is even higher than the full volume. Um, but 
Sherry casks are tend to be more expensive. I don't know which one I like better. They're both excellent. I think if you're a sherry guy, obviously this is a no-brainer for you. If you like your ex-bourbon exclusively with a little bit of smoke, the full volume is for you. I want to say that they're they're neck and neck. Um, this is probably like a 93 for me. This is an A plus for sure. It's a high A plus, maybe even higher. Um, I can't think of too many whiskeys that I've had this year that are better than this, and that says a lot. Okay, so full volume was awesome. Um, this is up there for sure. It, it's borderline 94. Okay, so really, really good stuff. The entry is beautiful. It's sweet. Touch of smoke. Finishes with that nuttiness. A little bit more smoke. And it continues to go. And the, the finish lasts a long time. That's awesome stuff. Honestly, it's an A plus for sure, but we're talking like not much more here to get into the 95 and 96 category and become an A plus um, plus. I haven't given one, I haven't given an A plus plus out yet. I haven't given a 95 out yet. This is very close. This is very, very close. I think there's one whiskey that I've had this year that might be a definite a++, but I haven't reviewed it yet, so we'll see. Um, but this one is dangerously tasty, okay? And at 52.9%, it can do some damage, so take your time with this one. Very, very good, all right? Okay, guys, uh, you guys stay tuned because American Whiskey Month starts tomorrow. Um, I've already pre-recorded a few reviews with my buddy Jeremy. They'll come out starting Friday, and then we'll work our way right through the whole month. We have a whole bunch of really, really cool stuff uh, coming at you guys. I will be reviewing everything over here. I think I've shown it for the most part, but the newest additions are this uh, toasted rye, the Pappy, or sorry, excuse me, the Old Rip Van Winkle, 10 year old, will be reviewed as well. Um, the Long Branch Wild Turkey will be reviewed as well. And much, 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 much more. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I look forward to your comments, questions, possible concerns, uh, but I think we're gonna have a blast. Okay guys, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You guys can also check me out on Patreon. Cheers.